Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Last time, we defeated Sif, the Grey, Great, Great, Grey Wolf Sif, Guardian of the Great of Artorias, to obtain Artorias' ring, which will allow us to fight the next boss. Today, instead of doing that, instead of moving forward the next, toward the next boss, we're going to finish exploring Darkwood Garden. There are a couple of areas of Darkwood Garden we haven't seen yet. One is this one, right behind Sif Arena. Here there are some mushroom children and some mushroom pirates. These two are actually aggressive, the childs are not. They will actually run away, I think, if you attack them. Let me see. You can backstab these ones? You cannot backstab as the one in Ash Lake. Let me see if they are actually aggressive. I don't think they are aggressive. No, they're scared. These ones will run away. They behave a lot differently than the one in Ash Lake. There is a treasure chest in the middle there. Although it's kind of hard to get, because these two big ones are try are guarding it. It's oh no, they are aggressive. Okay, so the little ones are aggressive, I guess. So if you provoke them, they will attack. I want to try to get that treasure chest if possible. It's nothing that I really want. It's just an ember. It is completely pointless. But I'll get it anyway. Go away. They can one-shot me. I mean, I don't know if they can one-shot me, but... I mean, they are very scary. Now, I know there's an item that I've never got in this area. Like, ever. So let's see if I can get it now. Usually, once I get that ember, the skull quits. But I believe... If I go over here, below this bridge... Is it on the other side? What is it? I thought there was an item around here. Yeah, there it is. I swear I never got this item before. I know what it is. It's the stone set. I never got this. First time I'm ever opening that chest. Unless you have the guardian set, that really is, I think is obsolete. I'm not sure if that's better or worse. I'm not even going to check. It doesn't really matter too much. By the way, the other area we want to explore is over here. And here, perched on a window, we find another, a new NPC. Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me, but comest thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark? Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. This is very weird, and many people were were in doubt on what to answer. I believe it's yes. I, I agree. Oh, indeed. Thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Darkroot Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. And here taketh this ring. If thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own clan. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. Have no doubt, such wretchedness never will we tolerate. Ah, 
thou dost cometh. How fares ye? My hopes for thee are of the highest. Do not such a hope shatter with foul disproportion. Ah, my okay, and that's it. So, Alvina the Darkwood here allows you to join our covenant. Uh, the reason why the question is really uh, weird to answer is because she doesn't really ask a question and you're supposed to answer yes or no. That is more like a Japanese thing where yes or no is more like I agree or I disagree. And if you think about it that way, uh, it makes more sense. So you should say yes because you're like, yeah, I agree with what you say. That you should not like touch Artorias grave. Although we did but we, in the last episode, but she doesn't know. She doesn't know about that. So now we are in... The forest under covenant. The way it works is that basically, if other players come here, you may get a call. Uh, if you wear the ring of Alvina, I believe you have to wear the ring. Yeah, answer Alvina's summoning. Uh, White cat Alvina speaks a human tongue. Has lived since the early age of fire. Alvina was a trusted friend of Night Artorius and the Grave Wolf Sif. Too bad they're both dead now. But yeah, you wear that ring and you basically get a call if uh, other players arrive here, and if they do not belong to the covenant you can get summoned here to attack them, basically. And there are other uh, NPCs here. These guys do not speak. And that's basically the idea. These are older... These are um, CPU forest hunters, which they don't do anything. You can attack them if you want. You can kill them. They will drop souls, and some of them actually have unique drop unique drops. Uh, we're not interested in attacking them, though. Uh, we're cool. And we're cool. They are cool. We're all in the same covenant. The, there are, however, two NPCs here that are very special. One is over here, and the other one is, well, very well hidden here. This guy does not speak whatsoever. He only does dot dot dot. This guy, however, does speak. I've heard all about you. I'm Shiva of the East, captain of the brigade. Let's teach you the clan basics now, as there's no time to chat in the midst of fighting. Except there is little in the form of rules, you hear. Fight and hunt as you like. Whoever's fastest gets the prey. That's the way we do it. Only, don't forget what Avina said. Traitors aren't given a second chance for any reason. That's about it then. Don't worry. It's a good old time, isn't it? Great to have you with us. Good hunting to you. Ah, did you notice that one? Sharp eyes? He is one of the clan from the east, like myself, always slinking in the shadows, but he is a tough one. You will see what I mean. <laughs> Don't worry now. You'll be called in soon enough. Hunters with patience score the best kills. Don't worry. You okay. That's all he says. That is Shiva of the East. And which you can also meet somewhere else once you join the Covenant and you speak to him. Uh, I will equip one more bones because I will one more bones soon. Once I'm done with this area, I don't want to be here anymore. It will take a while to uh, actually, you know, go back on foot. Now, let's see. If I keep going this way, trying to figure out where I'm going here. Is it this way? kind of want to show you a place. Oh yeah, there we go. So if you keep going around this direction, you'll find these stairs. And they lead to this door, which should be locked in theory, right? Uh, we cannot even open it. Okay, it can only open, be opened from the other side. We've seen this when we went to fight um, the Moonlight Butterfly. You can open that for 20,000 souls if you buy the key from Andre, the blacksmith. It's completely pointless, it's just a shortcut, uh, up to you if you want to do it or not. I don't need it, it's, again, it's just a shortcut. You can cut through here to get to sip faster. I mean, there's a little point in doing that. And this is the rest of the area of Darkroot. There are a bunch of demonic foliages all around the place. And that's it, really. Uh, once, we, once we grab that item, I believe we're done. They're just a bunch of these guys. If I can attack them, because there's three of them. They keep interrupting me. Oh, these guys are a bit stronger, I guess. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe we need to pay a bit more attention. Okay. Slowly and carefully, we'll clean out their numbers. There. This is the armor that Shiro the East was wearing. And really, once you get that, you're done. This area is a... There's nearly nothing in it. Like, as far as I know, maybe there's a soul item. And that's it. Bounce of the only foliage isn't like... I mean, that's it. That is really it for this area. Nothing really much to do. I can show you where it, where it connects to. But once I'm done that, like, really... This area is just pointless. Okay. Alright, so you go this way, where there's this uh, fallen tree. And guess what? This connects back to the bridge. So we came full circle. Down the ladder leads to the Hydra, over there leads to the cats and Sif. So yeah, that that's darker. We completed darker than 100%. We can now use our bone and go back to Andre. And we'll actually go back to Firelink for a second. Oh, I, I, we actually in Firelink. Okay, cool. Reason why I want to go back to Firelink is because now that we've met Shiva of the East, Shiva of the East, sorry, someone will have a little new dialogue, I believe. Oh, you again? Fancy that. You've come at the perfect time. Some new gems have come my way. I saved them specially. I'm done with the looting and I'm done with the looting. Don't you have anything to say about Shiva? I'm done with the looting. I thought you'd say something about that. Well, Let me see. Well, I know he has some dialogue about Shiva of the East. Oh, we... I'm done with the looting. No. But he basically what he says is like have you met Shiva of the East? Uh, that man just rubs me the wrong way. Watch him. Or something like that. It, that that's the gist of it. Apparently, trusty passes that does not trust Shiva. Oh, well, it's not like passes trust as many people, but you get the idea. All right. So we made it back to Firelink. We have the item that we needed. We explored the entirety of um, Darkroot. Let's see how the cleric handles that part of the exploration. Praise the sun, everyone, and welcome to the cleric segment, which we are going to explore Darkroot Garden. Uh, meet up with the forest hunters and not going to be as nice to them as the warrior was. Because this cleric ain't nice at all, if you uh, couldn't understand. This cleric has, is going down a path of sin. So, we'll go over here and we'll meet up with the mushrooms again. We're going to leave the, big, the little boys alone because they're not even aggressive. No point in attacking them. Then again, if that's the philosophy, uh, we're gonna break it immediately, because, well, you know why. Uh, if you play this game, you know why. Uh, we are going to try, however, and get the treasure from the big dudes. Uh, one is actually turned around, so I can actually just defeat this one and sneak up on the treasure chest. That's probably what I'm gonna do. thought you were gonna go for another hit. There you go. Go for two hits, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Don't want to don't wanna risk too much on these guys. Oh, they will kill me. Go away, okay. I think I can die one hit if they hit me. Not a full HP. Oh, got a gold play resin. I think I can sneak up on that treasure chest. Can I do that? No. This guy is just too smart. Fine, how much does the lightning spear do on you? Nothing. Okay, I get it. I get it. You know what? Come over here. Damn, you're so slow. Move. There. Do another one. Okay, cool. Come around. Open. And we leave. Don't want to mess around with that anymore. Now we're headed to where the forest hunters are, and that's the the big area. Now, uh, before we do anything with those guys, however, uh, we do have Alvina to talk to, and we will join our covenant. 
Uh, what's your decision? Yes, right? Okay, we'll just say we now join us. Yes. It's kind of hard to uh, actually do Alvina's prompts. Because she asks a very weird question at the beginning. You might think the answer is no, but the answer is yes. We get the ring. Okay, so now we are... For now, they cannot attack us. I mean, they will not attack us unless we attack them first. And we can talk to Shiva, but we already know what Shiva wants. And what we're gonna do... We're gonna drink up, because I suck at fighting these guys. And that should tell you how much I would suck at PvP. Right? Stop. 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 Okay. Get, get your shield up, girl. What the hell? Okay. We're good now. We are good. That took forever. Us from the very start. Have a look at my soul. For it's the last thing you'll see. Stop. Stop doing that, Shiva. There you go. You're gone now. Give me this thing. So, I might have mentioned that if you kill... Uh, if you kill the ninja behind Shiva... He gives you the Darkwood Grain Ring, which changes the rolling action. Now I can do little flips, which have a lot of iframes. And that guy will take a landing to the face. As a starter. Give me a bit of a head start on this guy. This guy's not too bad because uh, we've seen other enemies with that type of weapon, so they all act like the same way. Same as for this guy. It's really Shiva that has a weird moveset that I don't really even fight him that much. But yeah, we're just going to betray this covenant immediately. We have no interest in really staying in the covenant. We have a much better covenant ahead of us that we want to join. Where the hell is the thief? There is a thief around here. It's like almost in there it is. It's so hard to see this guy. And backstabs the game. Even block the last hit, whatever. I think I want to go for that guy first, because that guy is near the I can see the knight on the right. You can barely see them. Look at that knight. You see? It's like right from... Just next to the tree to the right. Oh no, you're not gonna do that, man. No. Stop. Come here. Come closer. I'm just gonna stay here and wait. I, I, I was gonna go... I was gonna go like... I was gonna go range as well if he was not stopping that. I can see I can barely see the knight. Alright, here we go. Come over here, I won't hurt you probably. There it is. I might rather go to with backstabbers against these guys. Just because I'm not really comfortable impairing them. Like I am with other enemies. Now. We'll go through here. We have Ferris. It's the next one. There you, there you are. Go. See if she let's let's see if she dares to come nearby. Okay, never mind. We got a knight. I had to parry this because I can't really go around with Ferris throwing arrows everywhere. I need this tree as cover, as you can see. Ferris can be annoying from afar. That's what Archer does. I think she's the last one of the Forest Hunters. Stop doing that. Stop do Okay. We're just gonna dance, I guess. And she is gone. We'll get Twin Humanities, her hat, and... You know what? We're gonna wear a hat. Does the hat have any, have any special property? No. I... 
I always thought the hat had some special properties. It doesn't, apparently. Well, now all we gotta do is we're not gonna go this way anymore. We're gonna go from the other side so that we can loop around the area. Uh, where is the road? Where's the? I cannot find the door to there. It is okay. So that's the door. So we're gonna go through here. All right, the map. Okay, I was I was worried I was gonna aggro some enemies, but it didn't. And here we're gonna bop, we're gonna just gonna bop some of these guys. They die in one hit anyway. They're probably weak to fire too. And we can do the flips, which although give it gives us gave us gives us a lot of iframes. These guys are not to, to mess around with because uh, they can like their hitboxes linger for quite a bit of time. So even if we have a lot of iframes, that's not gonna save us. That's what I was getting to. Oh god, I did actually wake up these guys. Fuck. Okay, you know what? Fine. Like a fucking ninja. There's another one behind me? I think that's all of them. No, there's more. And there's more! There's just so many of them. I think we're done. And the part of the the annoying part about this area is that this is really the only thing that we're why we're here. The eastern set. That's it. This area contains nothing but a bunch of the demonic foliage enemies that we just defeated, and that's it. It connects to the forest hunter area, and that's about it for this part. It's completely pointless. You get an armor. That's it. Where do we go from here exactly? Uh, I could just own more bone at this point, but I want to show you how to get back. Uh, is it here? Yeah, there it is, okay. Wait, is it? What is that? Oh, there's more of them! Jesus! Go away! Where is the path to go down? There it is! This... Uh, this, uh, this... I forgot the name of it. Well, this tree that fell. Let's go here, and there you go. You're back at the ladder with the bridge. The cats are over there, the hydra's down there, or was, rather. At this point, I'm just gonna homeward bone. Maybe if I confirm, that'd be better. And look, that's it, really. That's all there was to it. That was the rest of Dark Crit. And now we need to kind of get ready for what's gonna happen next time. What did I think work? Oh, we're gonna work the fire. So next time we're going down to New London. Um, I'm not, I need to get a bit prepped for that because I want to do two episodes for it. I did a recording trial of this part and took quite a bit. So I decided that I'm, I'm gonna split New London into two parts, although there are no bonfires in between. So. We'll do some bottomless box action, real quick. And uh, what I need the most, I think, is the Pyromancy Flame. I have so many souls that I could use, I'm just gonna keep them there, though. I don't really need to do that right now. I have the Pyromancy Flame, right? That's literally the only thing I need. Crest Shield, I have it. I'm gonna need that. I have the Pyromancy Flame, so... I will level up with the souls that I have. I can get to three attunement slots. I'll do that. Can I get more levels? One more. I'll take an extra faith. Go to 28. It's great. Again, we're gonna need 30 faith. And we'll attune spells. Two magic. We'll attune power within. We're gonna need that. And take off this hat. You're you really are ridiculous. Anyway. Not that I don't like the head, it's just it doesn't fit this character at all. Anyway, that was it. Next time we're going down to New London Ruins. See you all next time.